This is a quick tutorial on how to add a printer, um, an IP printer on a Windows 7 machine or server 2008. Um, you need to go to Start and Printers, and then you need to go to Add a Printer. Um, you think it would be Network here, but it's not. Um, adding an IP printer um, is a local printer. Uh, so we need to create a new port um, for an IP TCP IP printer. So select Standard TCP IP port, um, and then go ahead and click Next. And on the next screen, you need to type in the IP address um, of, of your printer. I presume here that you've configured it as static IP. You need to make sure that doesn't change, um, else you're going to lose a connection and not be able to print when the IP address changes. Um, I'm not going to query it for what driver to use. You can do that if you want, but I want to um, determine which driver it's going to use rather than allow it to use one from Windows updates or possibly a generic driver. Uh, so we'll click next. Um, it's going to detect the port. Um, just just to test that it can reach a connection. Um, as I said, if it could automatically pick it up, um, this is where it would install a Windows update driver. Um, so we'll just let it go ahead and do that for the moment. In a minute, it should prompt me for the driver. Okay. Seems to sped up. Right, so it is just a standard network generic card. Just press next there. Um, here we could go Windows update if you want to, but it's better to specify. Um, so press have disk and then you just need to browse to your to your driver. Um, you need to extract the driver and point it to the .inf. Um, mine's stored on my server here, so I'm just going to browse to my server um, and put in the credentials for my server, um, purely because that's where the, where the file is kept. Um, you can keep yours on your local desktop or in your downloads folder, it doesn't matter where it's kept. I'm just going to log in there and browse the directory where I remember I saved it. Um, speed that up a second. Okay, so once you've found it, um, you can click it on open and you can open that driver. Yeah, and there, may, there may be the same driver for various models, so you might have to select from a list um, your particular model. It's really important you get the right one so you can use all the functionality of the printer. And hit next. This is going to install the printer. Um, just, you want to say yes to the driver. Um, for some reason, it doesn't trust this. That's not always going to appear. And it's, now it's installed. And um, this is where you can choose if you want to share it. Um, if you're on a server, this is how you'd share it so that other users in your network can connect it by using the Add from Network button. Um, this is a local printer, so we're not going to share it this time. Um, and then you can choose whether it's your default or not, which is pretty obvious. And you can also print a test page, which I advise is a good idea because you can test the connectivity. And um, that's how you add an IP printer. Thanks for watching.